Let's go with Jesus Oliver. Why? Because he is ultimate power. Plus, he's pretty cool. What can I say? He's actually a very good character. Somewhat varied. Actually, he has a decent moveset. And very hilarious animations. Once again, I just... Oh, man, this is... Tommy's just kicking ass. I can see why he's so beloved. Uh, you know, I just hate these pallet swap putties. And, but they're going down pretty quick. So, oh, well, normal putties now. Guys, he's turning into a regular case of transformers itis. Next thing we're gonna get the shattered glass putties, then the dark putties, then the bizarre Japanese-only reference putties, and just, uh, yeah, it's just gonna go insane from here. Whoa! Okay, putties can teleport now. Hmm, guess they've mastered instant transmission. Yeah, take my Hadouken or that ball attack that I only used when I was evil. Ugh. Okay, this is starting to get very annoying. Ah. God damn it! Uh, okay, either I killed him or he ran. Oh, Ugh. Either I killed him or he ran away. And now putties are starting to kick my ass. This is not good. This is not good. I know games supposed to get harder as it goes on, but yeah, there's a difference between being hard and being annoying. And this game right now is being very, very annoying. Although it is immensely gratifying when you do the flying ass attack. And, I, and once again, I kind of love his little uh, projectile there. I'm not, not a huge fan of the uh, Dragon Dagger Slash. Doesn't have a whole bunch of range. I'm sure it does good damage, though. Well, I'm pretty much kicking Shellshock's ass. And voila. Mega win. Okay, yeah. Make my gnarly monster grow! Spirits of the Earth, I call upon you. Yada yada. Boom! Hey, look all big and bad. And now we can actually choose between Megazord, Dragonzord, and Dragonzord fighting mode. Let's go Dragonzord. Why? Because, you know why? He's awesome. And he's genuinely one of the best mecha I figure in the entire series. Not just because he reminds me of Godzilla. Or because he's explicitly based off of Godzilla. That's... Oh! The heavy boy! Oh. Tail drill, one of his specials, of course. Hmm. Man, Dragonzord's kicking ass. Oh, oh, I love that. Right in the chest. Uneven. Okay, yeah, I stand corrected. That is not my favorite attack. Like I, was, like I said in the last video, Dragon Zord has never been so acrobatic before in his life. I just love it, especially when he does that, that tail pound attack. He's kind of like Mario. If Mario had a giant metal tail that has a drill on it, which would have been awesome. Of course, he has the projectile that he shoots from his hands. Seems to fire off three. Looks like a bit of an arc. Yeah, kind of one lower, one middle, and like one straight on, so. so. I guess if you fire it just right, you could probably get him three times. Okay, he's almost dead. So just a little bit more. And drill to the face! Dragon Zord! That's a super mega win! And say what you will, I actually kind of like that saying. Better than saying it's a mighty morphin win. Stage clear, and I feel so gratified. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, who's your next monster, Rita? Oh, he's unbeatable, really? Yeah, I kind of doubt that. And it's Paluticorn! Hmm. Well, let's just get right to it. Uh, you know, let's just go with Tommy, because... I, I kind of want to finish this game, you know, in less than 17 parts. <laughs> Ooh! Looks like purple putties are, uh, turtling biatches. And the, oh, well, he's a bit of an acrobat as well. At least he's not teleporting all around, because that was annoying as hell. That's right, eat my Hadouken of Darkness! Because I am Tommy! Okay, okay, the Dragon Slash, yeah, that's alright. Again, it's not one of my favorites, I prefer the Ass Attack. <laughs> and of course, the Fireball. Ooh, but these purple putties, they, they don't want to play ball. Actually starting to get a few hits on me. Ah! It's Goldar again. Whoa! Ooh, he's 
Goldar just doing freaking strafing runs on me now? Okay, th 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 yeah, the difficulty is definitely ratcheting up now. Definitely. That's right, you take it! You take it! Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not so mighty when you're not running away like a little little pansy now, eh? Ah, stop doing the dragon slash. Oh, okay, now now we got teleporting green putties. Oh, now Plutocorn's here! Yay! What a grand adventure! Oh, he's got a pretty good uh, air dash attack there. Ooh, damn, he's, he's really kicking my ass. I'm barely getting hit on him. Okay, hopefully the tables are starting to turn a bit. Ugh. It's a good thing I have the dragon shield on, or else my ass would be grass. Did the dragon shield really add any real additional protection? I know when Tommy played that specific song in the series, it would reflect any laser blasts fired at him. But did the shield really, you know, offer any additional protection? You know, without having to play that song? I don't know. That's a good question. Mind you, he only ever did really give it to, like, two other people. So. Well, one, technically, because then he gave it to Zack in that one episode. Slash Goshi. Kind of sad that the others didn't get to use it. I would have loved to see a Terror Ranger using the uh, armor. That would be pretty cool. And Palutacorn got ass attacked. Or suplexed. What have you? Dead, dead, dead. Yeah, I made your gnarly monster fall. Now let's move on to the grand finale.